Good evening, friends. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate that. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because a lot went on in the last two weeks, as you know, uh, with the rescue Levi that we just took on. For all that are just tuning in for the first time, Levi was hit by a car um, on December 30th, about two weeks ago, at about 7 or 8 o'clock at night. Vanessa and I went and rescued him on Saturday around 10 p.m. Um, he was in a disaster situation that is unthinkable. I don't want to get into it all here. You can all look back on the post on my wall and get more specific information. For tonight's purposes, I want to talk about the other Levi's that are out there, whether it's in Puerto Rico or throughout the Caribbean or other countries or throughout the states. Um, this is a problem all over the world. For now, I'll, I'll specify Puerto Rico and we can extrapolate all the other places that these things go on as well. There is a major stray animal population in, in Puerto Rico. It's, it's an epidemic. I talked about it before Hurricane Maria, before Hurricane Irma. There are packs of animals everywhere, packs of dogs everywhere. And I think it's important to point out because although there's not much we can do about that right now, the situation is so out of control, it's beyond one individual, it's beyond one organization, even though everybody's concerned about it. But what we can do, okay, when we learned how to drive, right, they taught us about safety regulations. Think about the other drivers and yourself and how to be safe, right? All these safety techniques. But what we need to do so we avoid other situations like Levi, who did nothing, but just happened to have been a stray animal in the street at the wrong time on the wrong day. Now he's paralyzed, right? What we can do to avoid this is drive with compassion, okay? Not just driving with safety and defensively. Drive with compassion for animals. We know they're out there. And I say this to all my islanders on Puerto Rico, my colleagues and my friends. We know that there are stray dogs everywhere. They're all over the street. We know when we get in the car, we're going to see them. Please slow down. These are some. These are things we can control. Slow down. And by the way, God forbid if you hit a dog, stop and find out what happened to the dog. Maybe he passed away right there. Maybe you can save him and take to the hospital. But don't just drive off like you hit an old Coca-Cola can. This is a, 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 a sentient being. Come on. We can do something about that. We can't discard them like an old Coke can or old, some old food. We have to stop and do something. But let's be preventive. Let's be smarter than that. We all remember Mothers Against Drunk Driving, right? How passionate were they? How hard did they hit the issues? 40 years ago, I still remember it today. And you know what? It's just as prevalent today. Because people driving drunk and killing other people or animals is just absolutely horrible. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is I want to bring out the point the same way the mothers did 30, 40 years ago about being mad against drunk drivers, M-A-D-D. -D. I mean, I want to bring out the point that we need to think about animals that way too. I mean, they need to be considered too. I'm mad about it. Okay, I'm not sure what the acronym is yet, but I can tell you this. It's been inspired by Levi who just got mangled on December 30th. Now granted, you guys saw the pictures today, he's doing somewhat better, and we're gonna stick with him, paralyzed or not, and it looks like he will be paralyzed for the rest of his life. But I'm mad. I'm mad at drivers that just get in their car and say, you know what, I'm gonna hit the dog because I'm too lazy to turn the car. Or I'm annoyed I hit the dog because my fender is bloody. That's just backwards thinking. We gotta bring the mad mothers against drunk driving logic into this stray animal population epidemic that we see in Puerto Rico big time throughout Puerto Rico and like my friend Dawn Smith from Daphne Land Basset Hound Rescue in California spoke to me today about this is going on all over, all over the world in Greece, in Mexico, in Romania, in Pakistan, in Jordan this is going on everywhere I'm just in Puerto Rico and speaking about it for God's sake, let's be respectful of these animals. They're walking on the same earth that we are too. Okay, so think about it again. This is a movement, and I'm going to call it driving with compassion. Okay, you have mothers against drunk driving, 
Well, we have a new movement here starting in 2018 inspired by Levi. This poor 10 month old dog was a quite a struggle in front of him, even though it's looking better every day. But we have a new movement called here driving with compassion. Okay? And it's for the benefit of animals. When we get in our car, we don't just think about our seatbelt and the other driver's safety. We think about that we have to drive defensively because we may have to avoid some animals or maybe stop the car and help them across the street. Okay? All for one and one for all. We all know that statement. Well, that includes animals too. Okay, friends, let me close with a list of thank yous, if you will. There were a lot of people involved in rescuing Levi. First of all, I want to thank Stephanie from Yes We Canine. I want to thank our great friend Samare from Samas Boarding for Dogs. I want to thank Christopher and his sister Christy for originally finding Levi and putting the word out there. I want to thank Carlos from Toa Baja's Emergency Management. He was a big part in helping us getting Levi to the hospital originally. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to some rescue organizations that I've recently been in touch with who are on the front lines for animals in Puerto Rico in a major way, major way. Um, let me start out with Liz. Hi Liz from Rabito Contento. I've recently spoke to her, an unbelievable organization. Um, recently I've spoken with Michelle from PRAnimals.org. She does excellent work here on the island as well. I actually met Marjorie from Brownie Blondie Foundation, incredible organization. Um, I've spoken with Animalitos de Dios um, a while back. I do need to reconnect with them. They also do a great job on the island. Now all these people and all of you out there, all of our animal loving friends from around the globe, we need to march this message both near and far about driving with compassion and pound the drum to the level that the mothers did 40 years ago and to and through today, right? About mothers against drunk driving. That's how serious this driving with compassion movement is. The animals deserve it. Let's remember, they don't know what a green light or a red light is at a traffic light. They don't know what a stop sign means or a yield. They, don't, they can't read the signs. We have to know that and be defensive and protective for them. Remember, this land is their land, this land is our land, this land is made for them and us. Okay friends, I will see you out there on the platforms.